KB Entertainment. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get it. It's time to talk about 2K. We all know Patch 8 has dropped. They dropped another version of Patch 8. They fixed some things. But it's some things they have not fixed. It's some things I'm still witnessing since the beginning of the game. I don't understand. But before we dive into it, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe. Hey, hit that notification button. Now let's dive into it. Patch 9, man. Some things we're going to have to see in Patch 9. Uh, they may fix it before then. They may drop a hot fix. And you never know. You never know. But now, ever since I've been playing Patch 8 and the second version of Patch 8, you know, they, they fixed the pushing. Uh, people are still doing here and there pushing, but it's not like extreme where like you just completely out to play. You did, I'm still seeing like people are able to do a little bit do it, but it's not just as effective, but it's still like, you know, do create a lot of space. But I, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna get 2K a plus for that, you know? Um, they fixed a little bit here on the shot contest, on the stretches, uh, just a little bit. I, I feel like, I mean, they still be hitting some wild, crazy stuff without getting greens. But you know, you know, that's not my concern. It's something bigger than that that they need to fix. Now, this is, I mean, I talked about it before, but we about to really talk about it, we about to really dive into it. It's the ball control. I don't understand this. I'm trying to figure out how can stretch forwards dribble like their point guards. They out there saucing stuff up, hitting them with the crossover, hitting them with hesitations, hey, pulling up, smacking. How is stretch forwards able to do this? Now the thing is, the fact that they be doing this, it's hard to rip them. It don't make no sense. I like, I really can't rip y'all. I like, I. I get on my defender, on my defender, I got pickpocket, pickpocket go, uh, got the boost on the steals at the same time. I'm trying to figure out, I got a higher chance of ripping the ball from a pure playmaker, a pure playmaker, than trying to rip a stretch. This don't make sense. Stretchers and sharks are running around in the park and so and they not getting ripped. I'm like, are you serious? Like if they were just good at catching shooting sometimes getting to the rack, it'd be okay. But the fact that they be trying to dribble and then run down the court be dribbling and you cannot take it, it don't make no sense to me. It, it's it's so trash. It's absolutely trash. Like I, I, I like playing with my stretch fours, you know, I, I go on a lot of little win streaks with my stretch fours. Uh, I hate playing against the really good ones. It's just so much fake stuff. It just don't, you be like, what is, what is this? I'm playing with a stretch four, a random stretch four. I don't even know this guy. He's a stretch four. I just know he's a pro. He's a pro three. So I don't know if he's just one of those stretches is just like catch and shoot or he one of those fake ones. So. So when I go into the game, I witness he was one of them fake ones. I'm telling, I'm telling you, he wanted to take the ball. I'm the point guard. He wanted to take the ball up the court the whole time. I said, okay, you want to take the ball to court? All right, you, I'm gonna let you take the ball to court. The son and I seen him taking the ball to court. What he was doing? It was crazy. Like it was literally, he was saucing the team up. I'm talking about two people was closing down on him, and they would not, they couldn't rip him. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't do nothing. And he pull up, right into his face. Oh, cause he ain't tall enough. Smack. I'm like you serious? I feel like okay, if you a guard, right, and you go on the stretch. I feel, of course, uh, uh, you no, know, he's way taller than you. It's gonna be a little bit hard on your contesting them shots. But if he's a if he's dribbling as a guard, I feel like I should be. T it don't matter what archetype I'm using. I feel like if you are stretch or sharp, and and whatever build I am, and you start dribbling, I should have a high chance of taking the ball. That don't make sense to me. It's absolutely trash. 
that's one thing. That's one thing they really need to fix. I don't, I don't know who idea was that or who was testing the all game out because I don't know. Because <laughs> honestly, I've been able to do this since the beginning of the game. It's getting more highlighted because more people are, are starting to do it now. But it's been around since the beginning of the game of 2K19. Now, I don't know why it's still a thing, 2K. Why can I still get stuck on the got next? My squad on the court, we get off the got next, and we stuck. How? How am I stuck? Not the whole team, one player stuck. I'm stuck, I gotta reset the game or rejoin the game, get an invite or something and get, get back to the game. I gotta do something. They won't let me get off the got next, it's trash. Why is that still a problem? That's absolute trash. Let's go, let's switch it to the wreck. I'm in the wreck. I thought this was a, a fix. I thought I was just wasn't going to see this anymore for some reason. So I go into the wreck. So I'm thinking I'm about to have a smooth game. What I witness? Something tries. The wreck start up. All I see is people running around the court. Like the game didn't even start yet. It's just like everybody just running around the court. <laughs> doing suicides, <laughs> running, running baseline to baseline, just flying around chasing each other. I'm like, what is going on? I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. That is time consuming. It's wasting my time. I'm trying to get a game right away. Maybe I'm trying to do something right. I'm like, all right, I'm about to do something really quick. I'm going to get one game in. Uh, because of that, it may delay you. Then you're like, oh, man, I can't even play a game now because I was got to leave at this certain time or I got to do something at this certain time. But no, 2K. It's trash. 2K always have his moments. I don't understand it. Y'all have good moments, then y'all have absolutely trash moments. This don't make no sense to me. Why, 2K? Why, 2K? I don't understand it. Cause like if you if you take a if you fix all these problems, right? They fix they fix the pushing. Okay. I'll give y'all that. I fix the pushing. Uh, I'm seeing less heavily shots made. It's still shots made, but I'm seeing less heavy shots made. That, that's a plus. I'm gonna give y'all a plus for that. But like, if you fix the ball throw on stretches and sharps, you fix the got next. Uh, in the wreck, you don't get into like them little broken little things where before the game starts, you fix that. The game runs smooth. Now, it's another thing we need to think about is elites and pros, right? The fact is that bar under their name, they need to take it away. Because all I'm seeing is people jump off courts the whole time. You'll be sitting there waiting for the whole thing and players just jump off the court or because that's certain play on it. If they took that away, it'd be perfect. That elite and pro thing, they just keep the overalls on there, but the elite and pro thing, they took that away, it'd be so much better. Uh, I mean, it won't be as better, but you just will get games. You'll get more games. I can get quicker games. Like, because people are really getting scared of playing against elites and pros and really don't make no sense either. And then our, like, another elite pro team will get scared of playing another elite because they don't want to play competition. Like, come on. Come on, 2K. Or make up some type of ranking system or something where I just be playing with a bunch of people my level. I don't I don't understand it. Something, do something, because we need to hide that. Cause it's hard to it's hard it's hard to people get games when they high up in the elites and pros. It is. Cause you don't want to play with the sorry as people. Like, I look at it too, I just look at the amateur ones, I'm like, I do not want to play a new amateur one. He's like, he about to be selling, he about to be taking dumb shots. Like that's 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 what, that's what go in your head. So you don't know. Sometimes you come across some really good amateur ones. I've seen some good amateur ones that out there. Just like, damn, this dude. Hooping. I was one of them. I was an amateur one. I used to go crazy on all them pros and stuff before I started like, trying to play a uh, part. But I'm saying, 2K, fix y'all game, man, man. But we about to sign up. Y'all know what time it is. We about to hit 1K. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button.